Lucy tapped the boards with an iron. Then brought in a bench and attempted to jump into the ventilation ducts. At the last minute, Lucy climbed into the ducts after an increasingly urgent rap at the door. Then a tiger slowly appeared, hovering at her feet. Lucy was drenched in sweat and could only crawl upward on her survival instincts. At that moment, her cell phone rang, and after a tiger roared, the phone was smashed to pieces by the tiger. Lucy's stamina was running out and she was sliding down the pipe. Her sweat gathered into a single drop and hit the floor hard, attracting the tiger who was about to leave. And the sensitive tiger realized that his prey was close by. Suddenly the tiger appeared below, but looked away. Lucy sighed with relief and cautiously peered down. Fear drove her upwards. With the tiger's claws at her heels, after a few seconds, Lucy managed to climb up the pipe to the upstairs room, where she also found her brother. It turned out that the house had been boarded up by her stepfather, and now it was just the two of them and a tiger that had been starving for two weeks. The stepfather had bought them 